I just got another flower delivery from my friend in LA. This is from Kyok and this one is from Amanda. This one is almost losing its life, so I'm gonna change the flower vase. I've lived in LA the shortest amount of time, but I feel like I've made the most meaningful connections there. So thank you guys so much for celebrating my engagement, and I can't wait to see you guys at the wedding. So yeah, okay, let's change this out. It's so pretty, I love it. Okay, this is our outfit of the day. We're gonna head out for a little bit and I gathered all the questions for our Q&A. So we're gonna answer it when we get back home later. So we'll see you guys soon. Okay, we just got home and we're gonna drink Osalak tea. This is a really cute tea set that his mom gave us. Okay, let's see, which one should we try? Ooh, let's do wedding green tea. I feel like it's very fitting. Red papaya black tea. Okay, let's do these two. While we have our tea time, we're gonna print out our proposal photos with this Canon printer. He bought this recently and it's actually really nice. It's a photo printer, so let's try it. Which one do you want? Mm, let's do... Let's do this one. This one? Mm -hmm. 테두리가... 테두리... 있고, 없고? 없고. 없고? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Okay. This looks amazing! Oppa! Can you see it? Wow, it's so Okay, let's do more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Quick tea break. Quick tea break. I love it! Okay, let's see these two. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, I think you can fold this and cut it. You Oh, it's good. Ooh! You Okay? Mm -hmm. Did you? Oh, okay. Ah, it's mm. Nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, Wait, this is so cute. Wow, this is so cute. I love it. No more than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 잘 샀어. 잘 샀어? So we're finally gonna start this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for all your questions. He's gonna be right next to me, which leads me to the first question. You don't show his face often. Is it a personal choice of his? And yeah, I mean, he, you don't want your face to be shown online, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit shy as well. Yeah, I know he's really shy. A lot of my friends and my family, they don't want their faces to be shown on my YouTube channel. So I wanna respect their privacy. So yeah. How did you two meet? And how was your first date? <laughs> Okay, so we met through a blind date. If you watched my previous vlog, I mentioned that I was going on a blind date and it was four weeks after I moved to Korea and a mutual friend just introduced us. First of all, he had no photos. It was literally a blind date for me. And, but he, I have a lot of photos. So he had two photos that he saw of me. And for me, I was like, oh my gosh. Like very honestly, looks are very important to me. And the fact that he didn't have any photos, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, do I really want to go on this blind date? I walked into the restaurant and I was like very pleasantly surprised because physically, he's like exactly my type. I even texted my friend Taylor. She's one of my best friends in Korea. She's actually my oldest friend in Korea and I tell her everything. So as soon as I 
walked in, he had to go to the bathroom really quick, and I like quickly cack out her. Right, I have the I have the caca message. Hold on, I have a screenshot it. Okay, I'll put it on the screen. Girl, he's actually so cute. Looks equals my type. Yeah, I don't know. Just first meeting, I was like, oh, okay. He's like definitely my type. And how was our first date? We talked for like five hours at the restaurant. We got to the restaurant at like 6 p.m. when the dinner time started, and we were the lot. We were the first ones in the restaurant, and we were the last ones out at like. 10 30 or 11 10. yeah we i just remember laughing so much it was such a fun dinner and i can tell he was so nervous so i thought it was so cute Actually, he wore this on a first date i'm just wearing it right now but i thought it was very handsome thank you <laughs> do you both share the same faith yes we are both christian we both come from very christian backgrounds and i think that is honestly what not it, it didn't like seal the deal but it's a very big factor as to why you know i think we match really well my dad is a pastor so i come from a very christian background his family is also it also comes from like generations of uh, christian family so i think our basic values and beliefs and morals are so similar like our core values and i think that was just I don't know, it's just, it just fits so well. Many people say it's too early. How do you feel about that? I mean, I definitely expected it. Um, I think we think it's crazy of how this timeline went, but I think it would have, I feel like it would have happened anyway. And whether it was two months, whether it's five months, eight months, a year, like in the end, it would have been the same. We are definitely very intentional about like putting dating first because I think because we had such a short, courting and dating stage and we kind of went straight into the wedding preparations we make it a conscious effort to go on dates and prioritize that i i definitely expected a lot of people to judge the timeline of it all and i don't blame you guys i i totally get it but i mean i think what i think once i posted my proposal i was kind of like oh my gosh a lot of judgment, a lot of negativity, but I mean, I, I get it. I, I get it. How and when did you know that he was the one? I know it's very cliche to say it was like love at first sight, but I, I just had a feeling that this guy could be the one. And I think, I think on our second date, on our second date, we also spent, I think like 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours together. We met for dinner and we, I think I came home at like, 4 a.m. He like dropped me off at home. It's a long, long date. We went to but, Han yeah, we went to the Han River. Um, we had a date in Iksandong area. It was snowing. It was very romantic. I think the first day I definitely had a good feeling, and I think the second date I was like, okay. I think like I think I could see myself with this guy. Yeah. What about you? 나는 거의 첫 만남에 나도 첫 만남. Yeah. 너무 이쁜데 너무 착하고 mm -hmm. 너무 순수하고. 음식도 잘 맞고 개그도 잘 맞고 좋아하는 것도 잘 맞고 그래서 같이 시간을 보내면 너무 재밌으니까 금방 시간이 흘러가고 우리 진짜 많이 웃어. 아 진짜. Like we laugh all the like eighty percent of our conversations like laughing. 우리 알겠지만 우리가 12월 30일 교회 갔을 때. 그렇지. 아, 아, yeah, we went to what's it called? 송구 영신예배. 송구 송구 영신예배, which is the New Year's New Year's Eve service that we have at church. And he actually, in his entire life, he's never missed a New Year's Eve service in his life. So, like, all of his friends, they all go partying, like, on New Year's Eve. But he always went to church on New Year's. And I thought that was... I think it's very telling of his character. So I thought that was very nice. But so, yeah, so we started dating in early, mid-December. And so New Year's Eve service was, you know, on December 31st. So I went to church with him and his parents. And that's when I... First met his parents and it was just. 많은 게 상상이 됐어. 우리가 앞으로 그려갈 미래 같은 게 매년 이렇게 그 New Year's Eve service 하고. So after the New Year's Eve service, I met his parents and I met his sister and her husband and her son. Super amazing people. I honestly feel so blessed to have such great in-laws. After the New Year's Eve service. I started going to church with him on Sundays and his parents invited me to their home and we had dinner together. Like his family is just so welcoming and so kind. If there were to be any family that I want to be part of, like it would be this family. Just so warm and at that moment I was just like, 
you know what, like, yeah, I think this is what I want. And then he was dropping me off at home. We like talked again in the car for like two, three hours. And I think that's when like the talks of marriage kind of came out. Yeah, 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 yeah. From then, yeah, we kind of started talking about marriage. And that's just kind of how it happened. <laughs> Was your proposal a surprise and how did he manage to arrange inside your apartment? So I guess, yeah, it wasn't much of a surprise because... Well, okay, no, actually, this proposal itself was a surprise, but us getting married wasn't a surprise. So <laughs> the proposal was kind of funny. So he has the password to my door so he can come freely in and out of my apartment. But he was trying to get me out of my apartment. He like calls me, he's like, I have indigestion. Can you get me some medicine at the pharmacy? So I was like, okay, like I'll go. So I, I left my apartment to go get the medicine, but I forgot my wallet. So I was, as I was going to the elevator, I was like, oh shoot, I forgot my wallet. So I stopped on the regular floor, went back up to my floor, came into, came into my apartment, picked up my wallet, and went back out. And at that time, he was like planning everything to like set up in my home. But as soon as, as soon as the elevator is open to my floor, he was literally staying in the elevator with a gigantic, like heart-shaped flower with gifts, like a heart, like a the flower bouquet and gifts. And there was a food delivery man in the elevator holding the door for him. And so as soon as the doors opened, we were both shocked. We we're like, he was like, wait, you know, so? uh, yeah. <laughs> So he's like, why are you here? And then the food delivery man, like obviously you can see what's happening. He's like, I will oh, probably. <laughs> to me, I loved that I saw that because it, I don't know, like just seeing all the effort that he put into, you know, bringing that. Cause I like wasn't expecting anything. And I'm glad that I caught him at like on my floor because I was literally in sweats and I looked I like if I were to be proposed, I wouldn't want to look like the way I look. So he, I opened the door for him, and he brought in all this stuff. He says, "Okay, can you just wait a few moments?" So I just went into my room and I closed the doors, and I quickly changed into the white dress, and then he was like setting up everything. And so yeah, so it, it was a surprise, but the but us getting married wasn't a surprise. Okay, with the batteries running out right now. Hold on. Are you going to the U.S. with your fiancé to see your parents before the wedding? Yeah, we're actually going to Virginia in April and they actually met through like CalCal Face Call. We'll be in Virginia for a week. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Are you excited? You're also really nervous, right? Very nervous. No, yeah, he's so nervous. How do your loved ones feel about getting engaged early on in your relationship? My parents and his parents, everybody was very supportive. A few of my close friends before we even started dating actually, they were like, Kian, I think this guy may be the one for you. And I was like, you know, I think so too. <laughs> do you plan on having kids in the future? We do, but I want to enjoy just like us two for at least two years. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want kids that soon. I, it's funny because I wanted to get married early and, and I wanted to have four kids before I turned 30. But now that I'm, you know, 29, almost turning 30, I, I don't know, I just really like just being with him. And I wanted to just spend my newlywed marriage life with just my husband for at least two years before we start having kids. Yeah, it's fun. Me too. <laughs> what is your age gap? So I'm born in 1994, so I'm 29, and he's born in 1991, so he's 32. Both of your heights. I'm 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, around 164, 165 centimeters, and he's 181, which is... How, what's that in? It's like 5'11", or 6'4"? Five, five, let's five, see. Five, it's around, like, yeah, 5'11", 6 feet. Can we get a full wedding video? <laughs> Of course, I'm going to be vlogging the entire wedding day, hopefully. And I'm going to have some friends help out as well to just film some behind the scenes stuff. So yes, I will definitely be vlogging the wedding day. And we're going to have professional videographers. Yeah, I want a drone. My goal is to get a drone, so I have to look into that. But I'm excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> How often do you guys speak English versus Korean? Did he spend time in the US before? Actually, we spoke Korean, mostly Korean in the beginning of our relationship, but these days we only speak in English. Yeah, and, and yes, he did spend time in the US. He's also similar to me where he's lived abroad for over 10 years, 
he went to a British international school and he studied in the US and he also lived in LA for one year as well which is kind of interesting because I also lived in LA for a year so we have that similarity I always wanted a guy who can speak fluent Korean and English I'm most comfortable with speaking English and I also love speaking in Korean and I love that I can share that with my partner so yeah I love it. Have you talked about where you'll be raising your future kids, whether in Korea or US? I think because we both grew up abroad, I would want our kids to be to have the same experience. But because of this job, we have to stay in Korea. But I mean, it's it's gonna be a few years. We don't want kids for another two years, and you know, by the time they go to school, it's gonna be elementary school. So it's gonna be like five, six, seven, eight years from now. So I think we'll see by then. But I think. Yeah, I, I would like to have our kids grow up abroad, but we'll have to see the circumstances. When did you meet each other's family? Uh, so in Korea, I think before we get married, the entire family is like meet together, if that's what you're talking about. We call it 상견례? 상, 상견례. 상견례, yeah. And typically, I think it's like a, like a, they have a meal together, I think. I don't know, I'm, you know, I've never done it. But for us, because my parents are in America, before we head to Virginia in April, we're just going to do like a whole like Zoom call. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's going to be chill. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Yeah, and then when my parents fly in for the wedding in August, we're all just going to meet up together and it'll be a good time. <laughs> Are you taking us with you in the preparations of your wedding? Absolutely. I have been vlogging since we started looking for the wedding venue and everything. So so excited to share everything with you guys we have a wedding planner and everything is just so fast in korea i don't know how it's like in america everything is so fast here and especially because everything gets uh reserved really quickly like the wedding venue photographers hair makeup studio like everything gets fully booked so we have to book in advance and my wedding planner is like giving me like a timeline she's like kian like you need to start booking all these places so yeah, everything has been going really fast, so don't be surprised of all the content you're going to see because the speed of it is very quick, so yes, but I'm excited for you guys to see. <laughs> Do you plan to stay in the penthouse after marriage? So yes, I moved in here last November, so I'm on a one-year contract, so if our wedding is in September, like I still have to finish up this contract, and yeah, I think for the time being, we'll be here. Um, we don't have, we currently don't have any plans of moving out yet. Are you each other's ideal type that you imagined yourself being with? Back in 2017, I have a little booklet and I wrote down 40 things of the things I looked for in a guy. And I think, you know, in at church, they tell you to like write down what you want in your future husband and your future wife. And I don't know why back in 2017, I just wrote down 40 things in this like little notebook. I, I have it with me in my closet over there, but it's so crazy to me that he fits all 40 items on that list. And <laughs> yes, he's definitely like my ideal type. So yeah. What about you? <laughs> 부끄럽다. 부끄러워. 어, 나도 약간 항상 그 바래왔던 그 모습이 있는데 <웃음> 첫 만날 때부터 그게 다 들어맞았어. 음. 어, 나 처음 봤을 때 느꼈던 생각이 내가 항상 상상하던 그런 모습을 누군가 딱 꼽아가지고 이렇게 내 앞에 딱 나타나게 한것 같은 그런 느낌이 들었었어. Date night out or stay at home chill date? Because of the weather. Because, <laughs> because it's so, pretty cold. Because winter never ends. <laughs> because winter never ends. <laughs> Keep snowing and snowing. Stay home chill. Stay at home chill? Yeah. But the spring is coming. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> We're so excited for spring. We both can't handle the cold. For now, in the wintertime, stay at home chill date. And but when we go out, it's like it's so fun. Yes. Yeah. So just ex we're excited for spring. Okay, oh my god, my bed is running out again. Your proposal is much faster than your furniture. This table actually arrived the day after the proposal. So it actually worked out because I think the proposal looked better without this table here. So yeah, but yeah, it's true. It took forever and it was the wrong table. So <sighs> where will the wedding be? This is actually 
if you watched my previous soul vlog it's actually at the realm i had a it conference there while i was working at my office it was right before i quit my corporate job and i remember in the caption i'll put it on the screen but i wrote something like it would be great to get married here or something yeah it's crazy that it's actually coming true it's gonna be an outdoor sunset wedding. I'll put some photos of it on the screen. I hope it doesn't rain, but if it does, we'll be inside, which is also very beautiful. So I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna have about 200 people at the wedding, maybe a little bit more. So yeah, we'll see. We're gonna start sending out invitations within the next few months. So yeah. Honeymoon destinations. Oof. So we're planning to go to Switzerland, London, and maybe Paris, but we're not sure yet because he's a huge Manchester United fan. So we want to go to London to watch the soccer game. So if you have any tips on how to get me new tickets, please let me know. We're trying to schedule our honeymoon around the Manchester United soccer schedule so that it's like it's like his number one bucket list and I want to make it happen for him so we don't know their schedule yet so we're not booking flights yet but definitely Switzerland I think yeah please let me know any recommendations for Switzerland and Paris just because I love Paris and I want to go with him but we'll see it's still up in the air we haven't booked anything yet so yeah we'll see how does your dream wedding look like and his dream wedding I actually I, I actually never wanted a wedding I just feel like it's just so much money for one day so i never had like a fantasy of what kind of wedding i wanted i, I feel like for you too you don't really have a dream wedding no yeah it's, I, I feel like it's kind of just tradition mm -hmm. and a kind of a filial thing where it's not just for us but it's also for our parents as well but we both have like romang like a fantasy of what marriage life would be like but now that we're like in the wedding planning stage it's just like you know <laughs> might as well just have a nice wedding. Why did you choose September as your wedding month? September was the most ideal date for my family in America to come to Korea. And it's just like the perfect weather, I feel like. I did not want to get married in the wintertime. And I didn't want to get married in the hot summertime. I feel like September is like changing seasons from summer to fall. So I feel like, yeah, that's why we chose September. How do you feel about all the big changes coming? It's definitely a lot of changes in a very short period of time. When I met him, it was only four weeks since I moved into Korea and I was so, so, so busy. I mean, in the end, you just make it work out. Not only for us is it a lot of changes, but for our parents as well, like both of our moms. I feel like everybody in our lives are just getting used to this change. I think we're handling it with grace. It's a lot of communication that has happened between us, between our families. It's really like trusting God through the whole process. Will you be doing premarital counseling? We're actually starting in a few days. We currently attend his church, so his pastor will be leading the premarital counseling sessions. So we're gonna be doing it up until the wedding. What you saved each other's name as on your phone? <laughs> Both of us is the same. So I saved it as like a white heart and his name in Korean with another white heart. And for him too, it's also a white heart and it's Kiyuni with a white heart. What are some healthy habits you're trying to cultivate in your relationship with your fiance? Ooh, that's a good question. I think in any relationship, communication is the most important. So I told him that I want to have tea time with him every day, which is why we're drinking tea right now. It's like a daily routine. We drink tea together. We talk about our highs and our lows for the week. We talk about honestly anything and everything. And we stretch together every day and we pray together, we go on dates. Before anything else, we always say 연애가 우선, which means like dating first. Like we want to still get to know each other, we still want to date each other. How does he feel about your work as a YouTube content creator? I think for the first two weeks that we were talking, he, he knew that I was a YouTube vlogger, but he didn't know what my channel was or what my Instagram was. He kind of liked it because it showed that you liked me for me rather than for who I am in the public eye. He also knows nothing about social media. He knows nothing about YouTube. He, yeah. But I kind of like that. I Because my life is so public, I like that my partner really isn't like into all of that. He's also really respectful of what I do as a job. Like even him finding really nice aesthetic cafes to, for me to film vlogs, I think that's so sweet. And he's very considerate 
and yeah will you vlog the wedding dress try i already filmed it actually we had our first wedding dress try on pretty recently and uh, i'm so excited to show you guys i'm gonna give you a little preview in the next clip oh my gosh oh it's really beautiful <laughs> oh my god, you look like a princess. Okay, that's it for now. I'm gonna upload the full wedding dress try on soon, hopefully. What song reminds you of your relationship to this point? During the proposal, he had a playlist and two of the songs. There was From the Ground Up and The One. Also, if you guys have any wedding playlist suggestions, please drop them down below in the comments because we're currently looking for some songs to play at our wedding. So yeah, just let us know any, any suggestions. We are open to anything. So yeah, this will be the end of this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for all your questions. And I can't wait to share the rest of the wedding prep and everything. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!